the UEFA Champions League, the most prestigious club competition in world football, a tournament that has been won by some of the greatest teams in football history. But one club has struggled to break the curse and lift the trophy. Paris Saint-Germain, also known as PSG. In the last decade, the club has won several domestic titles, including Ligue 1, Coupe de France, and Coupe de la Ligue. However, in the Champions League, despite heavily investing in its team and attracting some of the world's best players, it is a different story. Why does PSG continue to struggle in Europe's most prestigious football tournament? Why does the club fail to compete against European elite teams in this competition? How come players like Neymar, Mbappe, or Lionel Messi, who is considered by many as the greatest of all time, are underperforming with PSG in the Champions League? In this video, we will explore the reasons why PSG has been unable to win this prestigious tournament, despite spending millions of dollars on players and coaches. To understand why PSG has struggled to win the Champions League, it's important to delve deeper into their history in the tournament. Despite being one of the most successful clubs in France, PSG's Champions League record pales in comparison to other top European clubs. PSG's first appearance in the Champions League was in 1994. They made it to the semi-finals in their debut season but lost to AC Milan. In 2011, Qatar Sports Investments or QSI bought Paris Saint-Germain and began to flex their financial power by making some high-profile signings such as Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Thiago Silva and Edinson Cavani. However, even with these star players, PSG could not get past the quarter-finals. In 2017, Neymar Jr. was signed from Barcelona for a world record fee of 222 million euros, which made him at the time the most expensive transfer of all time. The Brazilian forward was seen as the missing piece in PSG's quest for European domination and his signing was expected to take the club to the next level. Similarly, Kylian Mbappe was signed from Monaco for a whopping 180 million euros, making him the second most expensive player in history at the time. The closest PSG has come to winning the Champions League was in the 2019-2020 season when they made it to the final facing Bayern Munich but lost 1-0. This was a major disappointment for the club as they had invested heavily in the team and were widely expected to win the tournament. In 2021, PSG did not spend astronomical amounts of money in the transfer window but pulled off one of the most stunning transfer windows in history by signing Real Madrid captain Sergio Ramos and FC Barcelona's greatest player, Lionel Messi, for free. PSG spent smartly by bringing in key players for the squad, including the signing of Donnarumma, considered the future best goalkeeper in the world, Ashraf Hakimi and Wijnaldum from Liverpool. But despite that historic transfer window, PSG was eliminated in the round of 16 in the worst possible way by a Real Madrid and Karim Benzema of the Big Knights, marking one of the biggest comebacks of Los Blancos in the Champions League. PSG's inability to win the tournament has become a source of frustration for the club and its fans. It has also led to questions about the club's approach to building a successful team and whether their focus on buying star players and outspending their rivals is the right approach to winning the Champions League. Since they acquired PSG, the Qatar Sports Investments have spent billions of dollars on attracting top players and were able to transform the club into a global sports brand, with Neymar, Mbappe and Messi leading the way. Paris Saint-Germain has transformed into a lifestyle brand with strong creative content, capitalizing on the DNA of Paris to become the home team of the City of Light. It has become a major fad due to collaborations with designers, posters and clothing collections. Paris Saint-Germain has become a global brand with hype and an arty aura, adopting the codes and attitudes of a luxury brand. In the sportive aspect, all that spending resulted in an impressive domestic record, but it has yet translated into success in Europe. These spending and branding have created a toxic atmosphere within the club. The players are aware that they are being paid exorbitant salaries, and this has created tensions and rivalries within the team. It has also put a huge amount of pressure on the players to perform which can lead to nerves and anxiety on the big stage. The pressure to win the Champions League put a huge burden on the players. 
They are aware of the club's investment in them and the expectations that come with it. This has created a sense of anxiety and nervousness, which can be detrimental to their performance on the pitch. In addition, UEFA's financial fair play regulations have also hampered PSG's ability to spend their way to success in the Champions League. The regulations limit the amount of money that clubs can spend and require them to operate within their means. PSG has been penalized for breaching financial fair play regulations in the past, which has further added to their frustration and disappointment. PSG have undoubtedly one of the world's best squads with the best players in almost all positions, but has yet to find a coach who can get the best out of them in the Champions League. In the past decade, PSG has gone through several high-profile coaches, including Carlo Ancelotti, Laurent Blanc, Unai Emery, Thomas Tuchel, Mauricio Pochettino, and as we make this video, Christophe Galtier. While most of these coaches have been successful in domestic competitions, they have failed to guide the team to success in Europe. One of the biggest issues with PSG's coaching is their tactical approach in the Champions League. PSG has often relied on its star players to produce moments of individual brilliance rather than playing as a cohesive team. This approach has made them vulnerable to teams with stronger tactical systems. Furthermore, PSG's coaches have also struggled to manage the egos and personalities in the team. The high-profile signings and the pressure to win the Champions League have created a sense of entitlement among some of the players, which has led to infighting and a lack of team spirit. The lack of a clear and consistent playing style has also been a problem for PSG, which has made them predictable and easier to beat in the Champions League. Moreover, PSG's coaching problem is also linked to the club's owner's approach to building a successful team. The owners have prioritized big-name signings over a long-term plan, which has led to a lack of stability and continuity in the team. One of the less discussed but equally important factors that have hindered PSG's Champions League success is their mental block. Despite having a squad full of talented and experienced players, PSG has often faltered in crucial moments of the tournament. PSG's mental block in the Champions League can be traced back to their infamous defeat to Barcelona in the round of 16 in 2017. They won the first leg 4-0 but suffered a stunning 6-1 defeat in the second leg, which saw them crash out of the tournament. The defeat was a massive blow to the team's confidence, and they have struggled to recover from it ever since. Since then, PSG has suffered several high-profile defeats in the Champions League, including a 3-1 defeat to Real Madrid in the round of 16 in 2018, a 3-2 defeat to Manchester United in the round of 16 in 2019, and most recently a 3-2 defeat again against Real Madrid after winning the first leg and mostly dominating the second leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. PSG's mental block in the Champions League is also linked to the pressure and expectations that come with being one of the richest clubs in the world. This pressure and constant criticisms from the press have often weighed heavily on the players, leading to anxiety and nervousness. PSG's failure to win the Champions League can be attributed to several factors. The club's over-reliance on star players, lack of defensive stability, coaching problems and mental block have all contributed to their struggles in Europe. The team's approach to the tournament needs to change and they must address their weaknesses if they are to win the coveted trophy. PSG's reliance on financial power has not proven to be a winning formula for success in the Champions League. The team needs to address the imbalance in their squad and focus on building a cohesive team that can perform under pressure. PSG's owners and coaching staff need to develop a long-term plan that prioritizes stability and continuity in the team. They must find a coach who can implement a clear and consistent playing style and manage the egos and personalities in the team. The coach must also be able to adapt tactically to different opponents and build a cohesive team that can perform under pressure in the Champions League and builds a team that can compete at the highest level in Europe. Finally, PSG's players must develop a stronger mental toughness and resilience to perform under pressure in big games. The team must focus on playing each game as it comes and not get overwhelmed by the pressure and expectations. If PSG can address these issues, they have the potential to be one of the dominant forces in European football. 
Winning the Champions League will not be easy, but with the right approach and mindset, PSG can achieve its goal and cement its place among Europe's elite clubs.